Hello everybody, happy Friday, hope you had a good week and it's time to jump into the second part of the opening that I began on Monday with possibly the better of the two shirts that I did purchase. Remember I bought these way back in March so it's about time that I got them open. First shirt was rather nice but I think this one is going to take the biscuit though there is probably going to be a small little uh, sort of um, connection between those two shirts certainly with regards to the cola so without further ado let's get it open and i'll show you what shirt i have bought um, so firstly we'll get rid of that because it was um i mean this shows you how it was it's she's telling you the pop-up shop from glasgow 16th to 27th of march so definitely an old one so have i got a trading card i do clarence sadoff i think i've already got one of his anything else in here well there's a shirt that's it. Brilliant. Okay then. Very, very bright. There is the rear of the shirt. So you can't really see much going on there. You've got a black with a little bit of pink at the top of there. We turn it around to the front. And there we go. So, it has tags attached. And it is medium, so don't need to return this bad boy. It has the zip-up bag. Well, it's a sealed bag at the very least. So let's get that open. Get rid of you, I can feel something in here. Okay, so we've got the smallest tissue paper ever and some of those gels that make things smell lovely. Okay then. Okay then, come on you, get. Right, no, no, there we go. I've not done this before. So, there is the shirt. The rear of the shirt. So we have this baby pink trims running around and including in the sponsors. And then you have a what looks like to be a vertical stripe pattern. Now, depending on the camera angle, you may notice a pattern within the pattern, but um, that'll be something for me to explain further on. And if we look at the front of the shirt, it's kind of more of the same. You've got your pink, your black and your gray. And then possibly again, you may notice something on the front there. This is a absolutely beautiful shirt. I cannot wait to add this one to my website. So it has the tag, which is perfect. I shall dress the mannequin, do some research on the place and get back to you with some information. Right then guys, there is the shirt. It's beautiful. And for those of you who have been watching my videos pretty religiously all this season, may recognize that this is one I actually had on my wish list from right at the beginning and here it is so it's another one i can tick off and say yes i'm very pleased to own it now i reckon a few of you probably recognize this team maybe even recognize the shirt especially if you've watched that video it is of course fc von damme they are based in the netherlands and this is their away shirt from well last season 21 22 which will actually probably go down quite nicely with them because it was their chance when they got a promotion from the second division all the way to the top division. So it certainly was a successful season for them wearing this particular shirt here. Uh, the club itself was formed in 1920, but they became fully professional in 1977. And apparently they're known as a back and forth club, sort of like a yo-yo club, similar in the same vein as Norwich and Fulham, I guess. Though looking at their most recent history, they spent pretty much all the time in the second division. So maybe it was something from sort of a little bit further back in time. Um, I actually had to look at their squad as I go through their sort of Wikipedia page. I was quite surprised to see that they had quite a number of young English players playing for them. One of them, I think, he just moved to the Netherlands when he was really young, so that's fair, I suppose. And then they had a bunch of sort of like Portsmouth uh, Academy rejects who like dropped down to like sixth division English tier and then are now going to be playing top division Dutch tier, so that was quite interesting to see those guys there. I wasn't really expecting to see those names. Never heard of them. Um, any Von Damme supporters, if they're watching this video, maybe can explain to me a little bit more information about them there. Um, so, why? Um, why? How much did I buy this shirt for? So I bought this one for forty-nine pounds ninety-nine, and then of course remember that this was part of the twenty percent discount that classic football shirts usually do. Um, so obviously it's a little bit less than that, £39.99 there or thereabouts. At the time of recording, you can still grab this in a few sizes. You can buy it in medium, which is the one that I bought, which is a good size, and also extra large, which is also a pretty popular size. And not only that, it has dropped down to £39.99. So if you use a 10% discount code, 
you pretty much get it for the same price that I got it for with the postage and whatnot. So that's not too bad. The manufacturer, Ruby Sport. So I have one Ruby Sport in my collection proper, which is my Pex Vola shirt. But then at the same time, I've already mentioned this story a few times before, I bought Spark Rotterdam and Villain Tway shirts. For whatever reason, they didn't arrive with tags. Uh, this one obviously did, and I could tell because it gets advertised on classic football shirts with the tags. Um, and it kind of follows on with the uh, the pattern of the other ones because I knew that it was going to be a great shirt because my Pex Vol shirt was really nice. Um, maybe not necessarily in the level of detailing, but just in the quality of the material. And, you know, this one is definitely like that. The shirt is much heavier, certainly than the Fortuna shirt that I bought at the same time. So you can tell it's a bit more of a premium material. Um, some of the stuff is still woven into the material. So like these sponsors, part of the, the material itself, but like the uh, the crest and sort of the other logos, are sort of embroidered onto it. So And they're quite a heavy feeling one. So that kind of adds to the weight. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I, I've been looking forward to getting a few more rubber ones and they seem to have branched out a little bit more in the Netherlands. They've got quite a few mm, second division and maybe low low um, first division teams. Um, so I know classic wall shirts have a few of the teams that I could buy for. Um, and especially if they're dropping in price, then definitely something I could uh, uh, sort of think about at the very least. Um, with regards to the actual design of the shirts, yes, there is actually something on the front here, which if the camera picks it up, you might be able to see. If not, I'll probably just put up a photograph to make it look a little bit more obvious. But there is a graphic of what looks like a person sat on a bench. For a long time, I could not figure out what this was. I, no matter how I searched, could not figure it out until I came across that article which explained exactly what it was. And it is a BAP, which apparently translates to a grandpa, which is a famous statue uh, of a older gentleman sitting on a bench uh, in the Volendam Dyke which uh, is behind him. Obviously, you can't really see that in this part here, but if you look at the image, which I'll place now, you can see the inspiration behind it. Uh, apparently, it's it's a pretty famous uh, sort of um, statue, and that's just that their way of um, implementing local culture into their shirts. Uh, apparently, on the inside of the neck is a cry from their sort of famous song, Fighting to the Last. So again, another small, nice little detail. And also, when I was looking on this shoulder here there was a small four leaf clover in gold don't really know what that means to be honest maybe it's just meant to represent luck certainly worked they got promoted if you are not necessarily keen on this quite wild design the pink colors maybe their home shirt is equally as beautiful um so it's just the detailing on that and the sort of graphics and, and that have been used i mean to be honest if i was only able to get one randomly and i ended up with that one I wouldn't have been upset, to be honest. So there were some great shirts there. We'll see what happens uh, next season if they stick with the same manufacturer. I don't see why not. I don't think you could be particularly upset with the design that they have here. I especially like the collar. I like the way. I've always liked it when it sort of folds over each uh, itself there. Um, and also with regards to this little dude here, it's also on the back of the neck as well. So it's represented in a few different places. But that is another one of the shirts that I wanted. It's on my wish list and I can now cross it off and I can definitely say, yeah, I was probably right in wanting to add this one to my collection. It's another Dutch shirt, which I don't see to buy too many Dutch teams. Um, it does get a little bit more obscure, I suppose, when you drop out of, well, certainly drop out of the top division. Um, but it is a smaller league, so it's very possible to be able to get the whole thing collected at some point, which will happen, but it may take a few years yet. But anyway, that is that's, that's the shirt. If uh, you are interested, there's still something medium, which I'm really surprised about. Um, but uh, let me know. What do you think? Is it uh, too much? Sometimes there's a lot going on there. I can appreciate that. Guys, have a great weekend ahead. As always, thank you for watching my videos. And I'll see you next week. Goodbye.